and tell me about the tr tradition of running through Lakeside. How much fun was that? It's always a blast to show um, our Lakeside community that we're out and coming to footballs here. And uh, usually what we do is uh, first day of practice, we get our gear. Second day we go out and uh, get the community all riled up and show that we're here. It's football. I'll captain footballs here. Well, as you guys know, Wig is a four-year varsity star, so I'm really excited for him to go off this year. Um, I'm really excited for offense and slide group this year, too. We have uh, three or four guys coming up who are three-year varsity starters, so I'm really excited for that group to come here and show what we can do this year. Dave, Carson's one of the strongest uh, players in all of San Diego County, a uh, real strong lifter, and uh, really what's been part of the key to his success to being a great center and uh, a great lineman. I don't know if he kind of grades out or maybe he's going to be moved to a different position in the future. USD is looking at him, and I believe uh, Army's got some interest as well, huh? Yeah, that's what I asked, correct. And I mean, some of that uh, showed in your, uh, whatever, they, what were they calling this today? Is this this training that they have today? Oh, it's just uh, it's the performance test that they do for the Marines. Okay, so, um, and and you had uh, what was it seventy something that you that you put up? I put one hundred eight. One hundred eight, yeah. and I think you probably led the whole pack. So you definitely been doing well in the in the gym, and obviously your position, you're going to need that type of strength. Um, how, how has it been working uh, with the same group for so many years now? And I mean, it's I mean, is it tight off the field as well? Yeah, we hang a lot off, off the field and on the field, but I feel like, especially with all the team bonding we do lately, we went up to Pine Valley, we got really close up there, and we told, we got, we got really close up there, and especially because we found, like, we found a group of guys since like freshman year, sophomore year, so I think we're really close this year. That's going to be an advantage for us. And then, I mean, everybody, every year I, I ask everybody that's been under Coach Berner, because I, I think he's one of the best in the county, and what's been your experience uh, being under him for as long as you have? Oh, just the leadership that he brings to the team. And I, I absolutely love the sense. I met him freshman year. I knew that he was just one of the best coaches in San Diego. I love him. And then, of course, uh, we're going to have the second annual uh, Tony Berner uh, Classic, too. And, absolutely. Uh, I'm sure, I mean, does the whole team look forward to that now, too, after that initial, I mean, you, you went to their house, yep, and yep. you uh, and you came to cover, and what a game. Mm -hmm. That was a really close That had to be the highlight of the season, almost, yeah, I would the, think. At least for our team, that was the highlight of the year yeah. right there. I mean, with the... With the record that at the time West Hills had, I mean they were they were going to win their league, and uh, for you guys to go in there like that, and I mean, what what really was it a speech that he gave you ahead of time, or what what was the key to that? I just feel like our team we knew that we had to win that game for Coach for Coach Burton. It was his son, and that trophy was dedicated to his son. So we felt like we had we owed him to go win that game for. Him. So, I mean, you can tell what we have out here at El Cap is really a family atmosphere. I mean, you got the run that Ramon was mentioning, and then you have yeah. the Tony Burner Cup. So it's a very uh, tightly knit, yeah. almost like a family uh, situation out here. And that's why I was going to ask you, too, the last but not least is uh, playing your final year with Wick and also uh, Donnie Green. Our final year, I'm just going to... We're all going to try our best and just go out there and play football, captain football. I mean, we, kind of, we have a tight group that I think that we're going to go far this season, but uh, I think we're all going to try our best this year. And wouldn't you say that as a whole, though, that this team is probably, out of the last four years, this is probably the toughest all around, offensively, defensively, uh, special teams wise? Yeah, I, I think especially our offense this year. Our offense this year is probably. Yeah. It's gonna surprise people, I think. Honestly, you're gonna put up a lot of points. I think you got, uh, like, you got that strength in Donnie Green. I mean, a great tailback, and then, uh, I mean, Wick being healthy now from last year was a huge difference yeah. compared to his sophomore start. So, um, and I'm sure you, you got to be proud too of him being so healthy and and the leadership that he brings as well. Yeah, I think the key this season, if he stays healthy, I think we're gonna go pretty, pretty far this year. And, and last but not least, we're just going to ask you, uh, first game of the season out of the gate, one that uh, you guys play back and forth real tight uh, against Modern Day Cup. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Past couple of years, we've lost by a very short amount of points. So I think this year we're definitely going to go out there and get that win. I, we're, we got to get that win. Now. I think it's two points in the last, for each each game was two points. It was pretty close to the contested game. All right, Wick, so for your starter, and this is probably going to be your standout year, wouldn't you say? I mean, you're healthy. You were real healthy last year. Um, you had, what, 2,100 yards last season with 22 touchdowns. A uh, couple of setbacks, but good career numbers. 
Yep, well, this year I'm just looking forward to get some, get some W's. And then, uh, how about some of your supporting cast, too? I mean, you got the same line that's been together now a couple of years, and uh, you guys are all on the same page. You're probably going to be key to your success. Yes, we're all going to come together and work. We've got some experience in there, so we're going to be together this year. And who would you like to, I mean, if you were to single out some uh, key players on that line that have really been key for your success in, in the pocket? Really, I'd, all of them, honestly. But stand out mostly Carson File, Daniel, and Ryan. All of them. I mean, Carson File is, uh, I think we were talking about it earlier, he's kind of underrated in, in the county. He's probably one of the best. Yeah, he's going to have a breakout year. And then uh, also you got Donnie Green. Uh, had quite a few carries last year, 625 years last year. He was only a junior then, but he's grown with you as well. Is he pretty much your go-to guy? Yeah, I feel like the whole offense is uh, we're pretty well together. And we'll, we'll have some good yards. Yeah, and, and same thing with you. I mean, uh, if you look at your totals, uh, and I know numbers aren't, you want to get the W's, you don't want the numbers so much. I mean, it's a team effort, but I mean, you were, if you look at the numbers, you were one of the better quarterbacks in the actual league. So to, to be up there with the Helixes and, and uh, up there with Brandon Hills, I mean, that's really saying something. How do you feel playing in that, in that tough division? Well, it's literally all we've ever done, so I'm fine with it. And then two, this is your second year pretty healthy. What have you been doing in the off season to keep yourself healthy? This whole off season, we've really been in the weight room, been on the field, making sure nutrition's right and all that. And I mean, you guys started a little bit earlier too than a lot of squads. I mean, I, we look for your tweets and, and we see that uh, you guys started a little earlier. Um, what do you think is going to be the uh, key defensively for uh, and some guys that you could probably call out that are going to be key for you guys to get the ball? Yeah, we're, we just all need to figure out what the game plan is, and once we get into this defense and start doing it like second nature, we'll be fine. And of course, you're going to have a pretty good balance, uh, but I, I see maybe uh, with the line that you do have, and because you have such the talent of the ring back, we mentioned Donnie Green, but how about your other tailback? Oh, Taylor, Taylor's going to do very well, and he's still young, so he's still young. And then, uh, of course, you got, I mean, what is this now? Uh, Three, four, four Yokelies now that have been at El Capitan. Yeah. And you got three more uh, speedsters. I mean, what can you yep. say about them? Uh, uh, Skills-wise, we got uh, we got a pretty good squad. Talk about briefly modern day. Yeah. Last year it was a close game, and hopefully this year we can get the W. All right. Well, we appreciate it, and uh, good luck on your season. I think you guys. Are <laughs> what did you think of this uh, military training uh, today? Uh, I'm exhausted. Uh, I mean, it's, it's good that we're doing this so we can be in shape for the season. Nice bear we need to be, nice bear crawl, we need to be in the best shape that we can be in. I know you haven't played a full season under him, but uh, how do you feel about playing under Coach Ron Berger? Uh, I think that he, he really cares about the team. Like he's, like he coaches us like really well. Yeah, he's he's been around for a long time. Uh, he really expects a lot, but he's definitely uh, probably one of your better coaches that you can play for. And uh, what are your thoughts on the opening game uh, against Modern Day? Because they've now a little history. I'm sure you've already heard they've been real close games, uh, some even contested games, and uh, so definitely a game that they want to play uh, coming out of the gate. And, and then you'll have them at your house. So what are your thoughts? Uh, I think we. We just need to come out with energy.